So, Chris, it's been about a year since you became CEO, and when you first joined the company, you had gone through a bit of a rough patch, and you vowed to enact transformational change. What have you changed so far, and what are you still planning on uh, executing? So we had three real areas that we wanted to focus on on change. One was restoring productivity to research and development. Second area was recognizing we didn't have enough new products in our pipeline um, to really use the cash flow of the company, 4 billion euro after dividend every year, to seek external sources of growth. And the third was to transform the, the sales structure of the business to five growth platforms that we believe would provide more sustainable and more predictable earning streams. So a year later, I think we made an awful lot of progress. Uh, we had cut out an awful lot of the uh, projects in R&D that we didn't think added value, so we cut about 30% of the portfolio. Um, we've completely restructured the R&D organization, gone from 11 management layers to six, got our scientists back in science. Um, we have been able to structure a number of partnership agreements with prestigious institutes like MIT, like uh, Caltech, um, and we've been able to bring in a lot of new products into the pipeline through external licensing deals. How has the crisis in Europe impacted your business? You know, it's funny, when you travel outside of Europe, uh, it feels like Europe is about to, to disappear, you know. It's been around for 2,000 and years, been through many crises, and, and uh, there's an awful lot of resiliency in Europe. There's clearly also an awful lot of debt in Europe. Um, but I think the, uh, the reaction outside of Europe has probably been overblown. Um, uh, certainly for our sector, yes, governments will be looking to cut costs. Um, but there's been a sensitivity to making sure that research and development continues to thrive. So in Spain, yes, prices were cut, but not patented medicines. The Italian government said they don't want to cut uh, patented medicines. It'll be off patented medicines. The German uh, reform was really around products that weren't otherwise already price regulated. So, you know, for us, I don't think there's anything extraordinary in this, nothing that's really going to change our outlook uh, for the business. Um, there's going to be a fair amount of, of change in Europe as governments start to, to say, well, we're going to have to perhaps change retirement ages and things like that because um, we can't really live with this level of debt. But remember, when you look at the average level of debt to GDP in Europe, in the Eurozone at least, it's still less than, than places like Japan and the United States. So. I think, uh, you know, we have a lot of work to do in Europe, but I think uh, it's not that much worse than anywhere else.